Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is not a live stream. This was not ever a live stream. This was just simply a recording that you're getting ready to watch. And it's the second part to our Dragon Age Velgard saga slash series, whatever you want to call it. Um, that I did start on a live stream and you should be able to watch it. Um, I'm going to try to ping it up top. Um, if not, it's going to be down below in the caption, in the description. So we are continuing on and we are showing also some hidden treasures that a lot of people I've been noticing have been missing. Um, I, again, I only know where these things are because I know where to look because I played all the other Dragon Ages and they tend to stick to the same secrecy style. So I, I've not played this game before. This is the first time played through. I'm playing as a Rook who is a necromancer to a degree. Um, so there's a lot. If you want to see the setup to see everything, we can go watch the video previous to this. Uh, so stay tuned. We are going to get our second um, party member unlocked, uh, Lucanus. And we're going to save him from the Warren's Outlook. And at the end, you're going to see where a big treasure chest is hidden at the Warren Outlook. How to get, how to um, uncover it and get access to the chest. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy this episode and as always don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned till the end again to find out where that treasure's at and i'll see you at the end guess i should find some place to try to talk to solas Wait, that room wasn't there before, I don't think. Never Harding must have put my pack here. Makes sense. Better place to sleep than the infirmary.
Guess I can spare a few moments to unpack my things. Baron von Markham, you wanted the undead to rule Navarra, but you forgot about the Mornwatch. Then after I put you down, the Mornwatch sent me away with Varric to stop the noble families from complaining. The Mornwatch is supposed to protect the world from dangers outside the realms of the living. That's what I did, even if it wasn't politically convenient. Varric and his life lessons. I asked him how we were supposed to stop Solus, and he gave me this. Take a long, hard look in it, kid. It'll always show the face of a hero who can get it done. A damn good looking hero, if I do say so. A peddler gave me this after I saved his caravan from bandits. He told me the scroll went back to even before Tevinter, said that elves had a rich history even more than the rest of us. That history looked better before Elgernon and Gilanane came back and started blighting everything. The tools every professional scoundrel needs when learning the trade. I spent as much time picking locks and mixing poisons as I did training with blades or a bow.
At least when I hadn't lost my privileges after setting a smoke bomb trap in the privy. Right, that's better. Now how do I connect to Solus? Just sleep or... Relaxing. Maybe if I clear my mind... Uh... Back so soon. It must have been worse than I had thought. Hello, Dreadwolf. Ah, but perhaps I am mistaken. You may be here to correct me, to tell me that my concerns were unfounded. I am, after all, remembered as the god of lies, treachery, and rebellion. So you're going to be insufferable about it. See, this is the reason nobody likes you. I led a rebellion for centuries that culminated in the creation of the Vale and the destruction of the Elven Empire. Okay, this is among the reasons nobody likes you. My information was accurate. Now you realize that the danger is real. I need to know what the gods are planning. You are asking for knowledge no mortal in this world is privy to. If I am to share it with you, I need to know what makes you the right person to lead the fight against Algernon and Gelanane. I stopped you, didn't I? You disrupted the ritual. Yeah, I did. Even though I'm nowhere near as powerful as you. Your plan is to tell me how powerful you aren't? In the Mornwatch, I had to deal with undead nobles threatening all of Navarra with civil war. Our squad was overwhelmed, and we were supposed to retreat. But you attacked instead, defeated the nobles, and prevented a war. How'd you know that? You helped Varric pursue me for the better part of a year. It would have been foolish not to learn about who was hunting me. Then you know that powerful opposition doesn't frighten me. I find a way to get the job done, whatever it takes. I suppose I was not so different when I started. Started what? My rebellion against the Evanuris, the Elven Gods, as you call them. They wish to reclaim their dominion over this world. To accomplish that, they will need two things. First, the Blight. What exists in this world is a bare fragment of its power. The rest is imprisoned, until they release it. I don't understand. Elgernon and Gilanane were elves like you, right? Why would they want to blight the world? It is my fault. As the Dread Wolf, I was a thorn in their side. When my efforts weakened their grasp on the elven people, they grew frustrated, then desperate. And turned to the blight. Once the corruption took hold of them, they were blind to its horror. It was just another source of power for them. Now they would blight the world without hesitation, and call us backward and foolish for opposing them. The Blight didn't escape with the gods? Elganan and Gelanane escaped largely empty-handed, fortunately. Most of the Blight is still trapped in the prison I created ages ago. So what we saw at that village, that's them not at full strength? Correct. The rest of the Blight is imprisoned? There's more than what's in the world already? Yes. Centuries ago, the Magisters of Devinter opened my prison. A tiny fragment of the Blight escaped. That fragment grew beneath the Earth and led to the Blights that have swept across the world. However terrible the Blight is now, it is a mere fraction of what we will see if its full power is unleashed. Then we shut down whatever they need to do to free the Blight. They will need to pierce the Veil to reach the Blight's prison. My Lyrium Dagger is one of the few artifacts capable of doing so. We've already recovered it from the ritual site. Excellent. Then they will have to make their own. That will give you time. You said the gods needed two things, and the Blight is the first. What's the second? Follow us. They have called themselves. 
And what is a god without worshippers to sing their praises? I'm not gonna bend a knee to blighted murdering monsters just because their ears are pointed like mine. I don't think many other elves are going to either. Agreed. Algernon and Gilanane care little for the elves. They will find worshippers among those hungry for power. Tyrants and bullies. The cruel and the corrupt, who fear their own vulnerability and seize any chance to feel strong. If you hunt them, they will lead you to Algernon and Gilanane. I came here for specifics, not fortune telling. I would tell you more were I not currently in prison thanks to your actions. Fine. I'll go kick the trees and see what falls out. The Veravas, the Lighthouse Saluvian, can take you anywhere, if you master its secrets. Have you done so? Not yet, but we've got one of the Veiljumpers working on it. She'll get it sorted and we'll see how it goes. Yes, I suppose we will. And when you speak with Varric, please tell him that I regret what happened. So Solus told the truth about the gods. You heard? It's bad, Varric. If you had seen Demeta's crossing... The team needs to act fast. And it can't do that with me leading from a bed. You've got to take point on this. I'll get it done. I never doubted it. Never might. Rook, when I put this team together, what did I look for? A detective to find the Dreadwolf, and a scout to get us the lay of the land. Exactly the people he'd expect me to recruit. Disciplined. Predictable. And then there's you. Remember when we first met, kid? You stopped an entire undead rebellion with less than a dozen Morn Watchers. Just needed a bolder approach than Watchers usually take. And no one else knew it. Only you figured it out. Ticked off a bunch of snooty Navarans, but you've got a knack, kid. For what? Finding a way through the wildest shit I've ever seen. With a plan that no one expects. On the best day of his life, Solus wouldn't see you coming, Rook. And don't worry. I'll still be here to talk if you need me. There is something. Demetis Crossing was awful. While we were there, we found one survivor, the mayor. You left him to fend for himself. Not everyone was happy about my decision. We're just starting out and I'm already losing their trust. The key to earning the team's trust isn't to only make decisions everyone agrees with. It's showing the team that they can tell you whatever's on their mind, even if they think you're full of crap, and know you'll listen. When I took over at the ritual site, I had to make a call on who came with me to knock over that statue. It was the first decision I made leading this team, and Nev got hurt because of it. You made a decision with the best information you had. Sometimes you do that, and people end up hurt. Or worse. What would you have done? What would I have done? Probably gotten myself killed and failed to stop the ritual if you hadn't stepped in. 
A good leader isn't someone who never makes mistakes. It's someone who admits when they make one. That's how you earn their trust. Did Nev tell you about me talking to Solus in the Fade? I had some good arguments with Chuckles back in the day. I can't imagine being stuck with him in my head. But how are you feeling about it? Your old friend is kind of an asshole, Varric. <laughs> I'd love to be a fly on the wall while the two of you get into it. Solus fought a rebellion against Elgernon and Gilanane. He didn't want to be a god. But he's also a lot older and more powerful than any of us. He looks at us like we're toddlers. So how do I deal with him? Well, act like you're as smart as he is, and he'll be insufferable. Show him you respect his age and experience, and he'll remind you he's just a man. Honestly, pick whichever of those pisses you off less. He also asked me to tell you that he regrets what happened. Hurting you, I mean. Chuckles is sentimental. He could burn the world down, and the thing that would make him cry is a single flower with blackened petals. I'll let you get some rest. You're gonna be fine, Rook. Uh, hey, one last thing before you go. I've been racking my brain thinking of contacts who might help us with these gods. You got any ideas? Nothing. But being a leader isn't about having all the answers yourself. It's about knowing who does. Nev has connections to a whole world that Harding and I barely know. Might be worth talking to her. Will do. Thanks, Varric. Anytime. Hey, Nev. Hi, Wisps. Yeah, they're still here, but you're here for Leeds. You want allies to go after the gods? I've got places to look, if we can get anywhere but Arlathan. Valara's working on it. What have you got? Let's start with the angles we know. The gods are corrupt magic personified. Who do we hire to fight that? First, the Antivan Crows. You want to fight gods with assassins? Not just any assassin, their most feared mage killer, the demon of Virantium. Working with a feared mage killer doesn't bother you? If he doesn't have a contract out on me, it's not a problem. It's a fancy name. Can he back it up? That's the question. The demon got his nickname taking out blood mages and venatori. From everything I've learned, the reputation was earned. 
I never uncovered his real name, and there's been fewer stories the last few years. But the crows would know. I can set a meeting with their bosses. Time to make new friends. We'll see if it works. You said the crows were first. What's next? A trip home. Back to Minrathis. Capital city and heart of Tevintir. An empire of mages that knows a thing or two about corrupt magic. Tevintir authority won't help and can't be trusted. Which is why we talk to the Shadow Dragons. They're a resistance group that fights slavers, blood magic, and imperial corruption. They've got eyes and ears everywhere, including mine. If the gods enter the Empire, we might get something. Besides, I owe them an update. Are they all mages? Tevinter might prize its mages, but the shadows accept anyone. We've all got a stake in the cause. These people sound great. I mean, if they're anything like you. No one's as good as they seem. But they try. So, we talk to the crows in Antiva and the shadow dragons in Minrathis. I wouldn't mind checking in on my neighborhood either. If Balar is ready for us. Yeah, should check how things are going. Almost there. I just have to. Shit! Sorry. Can I help? No, no, I've got it. Mostly. Mirrors are funny things, aren't they? Reflections. They distort reality, no matter what you try. Ah. And there's the trick. Control that distortion. There you have it. What is that place? If I had to guess, it's the Fade. Another part of it, I mean. Didn't Morrigan say this Alluvian could go anywhere? Didn't think that meant elsewhere in the Fade. She called it the Veer of Us. Freedom of ways. I wonder... If that is the Fade on the other side, won't it be dangerous, as the Fade often is? More dangerous than elven gods who wield the Blight as a weapon. Point taken. Some of the older texts talk about a place in the Fade where all the Alluvians meet. A crossroads, where you could travel across all of Thetis in just minutes. Right. We saw something similar when we were chasing Solus. I wonder if it's the same. It is alike, and it is not. Either you found some way to get into the lighthouse without us seeing, or you've been here all along. Not sure which one worries me more. The wolf's fang. You carry it now. Old paths. A new journey. Through there. I will wait. Well, can't tell if that's a trap or not. But we're short on options. One way to find out. And it didn't feel dangerous, you know? Almost more... sad. Just because something's sad doesn't mean it isn't dangerous. I can think of an example or two that proves that. And we still don't know what this Alluvian's gonna do. One of us should probably stay behind in case it closes. Good point. Just tell us when you're ready to go, Rook. And then we can figure out what's going on.
Toldar, it's a tuno. Vedun gar velos atreidum. But velos atreidum is, is nothing like it's a tuno. It's a tuno. I remember. After you touch the dagger, the prayer, the proclamation, it's a tuno. What exactly are you proclaiming? They don't remember. No one remembers. We don't even know what we lost. Harding? Are you in there? I'm sorry, what? Uh, what does Isatunol actually mean? Isatunol is an affirmation, a statement of existence, of... of being. It means, I am here. But no, not... not I. I is singular, but it isn't. We either. Hmm. We is multiple, but also separate. Uh, what? <sighs> is the tunnel is the eternal hymn that encompasses all time. All spaces. I am, we are, this and that, here, there, now, and forever. How does this get us anywhere? Right. I guess it would be like a mage explaining how magic feels to <laughs> someone who doesn't have it. I'm certain Isatunal describes how we, the dwarves, once were. But none of the books say anything about it. None of the histories are right. If we forgot something so important, what else did we forget? I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I don't expect you to have an answer. D thanks for letting me babble, by the way. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. Hello again. Who are you? A caretaker. I go where I am needed, Dweller. Now, I am here. And where is here? The crossroads. Are we safe here, or are we going to get swarmed by more demons? The Evanurus hunger for the crossroads. Their influence is spreading. Blight. Death. Madness. 
They send their minions to claim this place. The crossroads is in a time of need, Dweller. I cannot protect you. You don't have to. If you're standing against the gods, then consider us reinforcements. Here, this dock seems dirty. So you can ferry us to the other islands. Winds await, Dweller. I'll take that as a yes. Places between. of the crossroads to protect them. Beware. The Guardians rebel all interlopers. Ancient defenders aren't very discerning. Here. That's where they're breaking through. Guess we can thank the gods for that. Fight on! Witness and destroy! There's a problem. I am blessed. I am it. Blight and blood magic has sealed the way. Only their champion may open it. A champion? 
It dwells on this island. Challenge the champion and claim its essence. This path will open to you. Oh, is there something inside it? That's the champion we're looking for. Watch yourselves! You gotta move! something well, that's, done. that's the essence we need it's cold Ugh. hope I don't have to carry it for too long to a wolf that I know who that's for. Sure thing. As the gods champion passed freely, so will you.
That's a lot of Alluvians. And they're all intact. I wonder where they lead. Time to find out. Treviso, one of the finest cities in Antiva, now living under occupation. Let's hope our crow contact can meet us. Welcome to Antiva. You must be Rook. And you're under Atea Cantori, of the crows? Thea, please. Come. My associate Viago is gathering the others. We can talk business when we arrive. The documents, it's, uh, it's all there. Manavasadim Kata. My friends has come with us. The Antam soldiers have made themselves comfortable. We have suffered their company for too long. The Antam reached a stalemate in their war with Tevinter. Some turned here instead. Antiva was rich, comfortable, and has no standing army to stop them. She said it well enough. It must be hard dealing with the Antam. This occupation will not last. The Antivan crows remain. And one day, I will see a knife through every would-be tyrant's throat. We have arrived. A casino? Nice setup. Welcome to the Cantori Diamond. You're the client. This is Rook. Did you want a drink? I promise not to let Viago near it. <sighs> Viago de Riva, fifth talon. And this is Catarina della Morte, first talon of the crows. An honor. And you are? Ilario della Morte, her grandson. What brings you here? Right. My target is a pair of elven gods, or that's what they call themselves. They're ancient, blooded mages. My detective says you have a man who brought blood mages and venatori to their knees. Lucanis. My grandson. They called him the demon of Virantium. 
He was the one who did those jobs. Sounds like there's more to it. Lucanis de la Morte is dead. He was killed a year ago now. What I say doesn't leave this room. The body our people brought back was not my grandson. It was dressed in his clothing, but it had been altered with blood magic to half his face. My cousin is still alive? And you didn't think to tell me? His ship was attacked. We knew someone sold him out. So you kept your suspicions to yourself. But you've brought it up now. Why? I've had eyes on the Venatori ever since they took my grandson from me. They were hunting your dread wolf. And what you did to his ritual threw them into disarray. They made mistakes. And now I have a location. The Oshuri. Where the demon of Virantium is kept. Find this Oshuri. Free Lucanis. You'll have your god killer. And I'll have my grandson. Come. Katarina arranged a boat. One of our mages will meet us there. A boat? Did you think the Venatori would keep a normal prison? Or that one could hold the demon of Ferrantium? The Oshuary lies beneath the sea. A fact I learned mere minutes ago. Secret and excessive. Sounds like Venatori. You're not happy Katarina kept this from you. Would you be? Lucanis is family. Maybe she thought I'd act too rash if it meant saving him. And now... Are you coming with us? It's possible we've been watched. If all of us vanish from the dock, you play the alluring hero. I know Treviso. If we have a tail, I have a better chance of distracting their interest. So how do we get in? You'll see. Someone or something already took down the guards. Might work in our favor, but something's wrong here. Let's hope we find our demon alive. <laughs> Look! So this is the ossuary. This doesn't look like any prison I've seen. Well, we're not going that way. The Venatori set up shop in an elven ruin. It's a wonder anything works. I can't believe all this is underwater. If the enchantments containing this place ever failed. Nervous about that, or the job in general? Not everyone deals with the Antiban crows, unless to tell about it. We're up against gods. A demon might come in handy.
A barrier. Whatever's in there, the Venatori really wants it to stay put. Then we break through. All right, we're almost through. We don't have to fight. We're just here for the Conestella Morte. Get ready. Razzing Hail, Dragon of Mystery! Lucicon, Dragon of Night! Hear your faithful call! I'm guessing you're the reason we're here. Who are you? Who sent you? My name's Rook. Katarina sent me. Katarina? But you're not a crow. You weren't expecting a rescue? I wasn't expecting... whatever that was. Rook, he's possessed by a demon. It's complicated. Katarina promised us a mage killer if we broke you out of here. I can still work. Good, because I'm pretty sure more Venatori are on their way. We have to get moving. They have a vial of my blood. They can use it to control me. I cannot leave it in their hands. And I had a contract when I was captured. One of my targets is here, Caliban. Crows don't break contracts. All right, we'll help. But in return, I want help killing some things. I'll owe you. I'm sure we'll owe each other before this is all over. Let's go. So, first order of business? Blood first, then my target, Caliban, the prison warden. Where do we find them? In the tower. There's a bridge. Not anymore. We'll have to find another way across. Mages, my specialty. The blood vial. Where do we go? Caliban keeps it under guard. Blood is the only thing that can bind a demon. If they lose it, then it's... What was going on here? Living prisoners for blood magic. Blood magic to summon spirits. Any spirit can become a demon. Zara didn't give them a choice. Zara? Zara Renata. There might be a higher-ranking Venatori somewhere, but I don't know of one. This place is all her.
possessed corpses must be common in a place like this. Zara Renata's work. This place exists for her to make new, worse kinds of demons. Venatory ahead. Mine. So, the vial of blood the Venatori took from you? It's for blood magic, to control me and the demon. Until it's gone, I cannot touch Caliban. Okay, now what? What are you? The demon pulled all of that from the fade? I'm as surprised as you. <laughs> Vanatory at odds with their creations. Not surprised they lost control. Blood mages, they never learn. Zara can summon all the demons she wants, but they don't have to obey her. Zara won all these undead for? Nothing. Those are the failures. If those are failures, what does success look like? She took the best results out a few days ago, but... Some of the demons she created are still here.
Colavan. You said he's the one in charge? No. He's a lackey. He runs this place for a powerful magister. He was my target a year ago. Now we both want him dead. We meaning... Demons don't forgive. Demons, there's something off. The Venatori have done something. Then why this place exists? This is what success looks like. These guys. Let me hit him first, then you can take him down. That's not good. 
We may not have much time. This way, there's a shortcut. Lead the way. Any clue where to start, or we'll find those on the way. I know it's here. We can smell it. We need to get that barrier down. Find the crystals that power it. Two left. There. Just one crystal between us and the other... That's it. The barrier should be down. Let's see what's on the other side. Venatori never do anything subtle. Look at that thing. There. That's the one. It has to be. Finally gone. So now what? Now we find Galiban.
anything we should know about Colavan? You want to hear about his torture methods or something else? We didn't chat. It's fine. We can talk about something else. What's Katarina like? After so long in this pit, I barely remember. Oh, this was entirely unnecessary. Zara and her little jests. He's already the demon of Virantium. Won't this be ironic? Hilarious. And now look at the mess you've made of my facility. She always leaves me to clean up. So this is Colavan. He's the target I was sent for a year ago. A crow never abandons a contract. What did they offer you in exchange for my life, crow? Was it worth it? <laughs> You brought ruffians with you. Were you lonely? You are a failed experiment, not worthy of my time. The ossuary is my domain. No one leaves here. are nothing to the Venatori. By blood, I command you. Some like the others. I refuse to fall. and their regards. So we got your target? Yes. The job's done. Smells like blood. Ashes. Not done. Not yet. Lucanus, are you alright? 
Lucanus, what are you looking at? Careful. They know we're not right. You cannot see him. I wondered. We clearly have things to discuss somewhere else. Agreed. I think it's time I got some air. Shall we go? I'm ready to get out of this place. Imagine how I feel. Maker. Lucanis. What happened here? A message from Zara Renata. I can't believe it. You're home. Zara? Her people got these clothes? The woman who runs the prison? The Benatori witch who captured me. Revenge for the breakout, maybe? Where's Katarina? She's... The Venatori caught her in their confusion. I get one of you back, only to lose the other. Someone killed the first talent of the Crows now? After the gods escaped? That's not a coincidence. Zara has been a thorn in our sight before. And you said yourself, it could be revenge for your prison break. No, Rook's right. The timing is suspicious for many reasons. When I find Zara, I'll ask her. You just got here, and already you want to leave again? Katerina gave me a contract. I'm not breaking the last deal she ever made. And I owe Rook. Once that's done, I'll come home. Can't say your new contract's easy, but we'll be as quick as we can. Cousin, when you find Sara, I want, I need to be there. We are under attack. 
Antum on one side and Avenatori on the other. Forget revenge. We need you. No, Viago. Sara came for us here, in my house. She took Katerina from my house. You find her and cut her heart out, Lucanis. V and I will hold down the fort. I'll give her your regards, Thea. For Katerina. The crows had lost a talon. But the demon of Irantium was free at last. Sooner or later, debts new and old would come due. And they would all be paid in blood. They're the same thing. Mostly, kind of. Except one will manipulate you, or kill you, or both. But how do you get rid of them? Um... What's everyone talking about? Spite. The demon in Lucanus. When a person gets possessed, the demon usually takes control. And they turn into a monster. The spirit just molds them however they want. I've heard of abominations being cured by killing the demon in the Fade. That's not a sure bet, though. Well, there's one way, but it's, well... We'd have to, um... You'd have to kill me. Well, that's awkward. He's fun! You're never fun. Mm, I want to talk to him! Before we do... Well... That... Let's think this through some more. There has to be a solution. I have people in Marathas I can ask, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. All right. So what next? Let me talk to them. I want to talk to Rock. Lucanus. Nope. It's fine. I'm fine. What did he do that for? Throwing a tantrum when he doesn't get his way. But he could just take you over. Make you do what he wants. It's, you know, not great, but kind of good news, in a way. Don't pretend this is all right. It wouldn't be fine if another person did it. No, but there's nothing I can do about it. If it were another person, I could solve this with a knife. Just... Give me a minute. He'll get bored once everyone leaves. I know things have been complicated, but I'm glad you're here, Lucanus. Contract aside, I owe you a debt. Lucanus, uh... Please. There you have it. Easy as that. You just watched uh, the Nether chapter segment, whatever you want to call this, in the Dragon Age Velgard series that we're doing on this channel. Uh, again, some episodes and some sections, part of it will be done on a live stream. Uh, again, you'll be able to catch them. All you have to do is make sure you like, subscribe, turn the bell icon to get notified. And then, of course, as always, I'm going to try to them either in the corners so where you can watch it beforehand or down in the description as well but thank you so much for watching this episode of cybermark sig playing dragon age Velgard. i hope you all have a wonderful day but until next time everyone take care stay safe stay healthy and i hope you have a wonderful day till then